All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lisa Bug Mind Body Blend. And this is our final class of the month of August 2023, and our final class for a little bit as I'm recovering from knee replacement. So what I have today is some multi-joint actions using arms, legs, some coordination, uh, a fair amount of shoulder work. So for the most part, my, my weight training load is going to be fairly light to moderate. Obviously, you guys pick what works good for your muscles of the shoulders, upper back, we'll really be working on some good posture and balance as well. We always start with a little Tai Chi. So I would like to take the most complex form, which is grasp the peacock's tail, and we are going to repetitively do it on one side without moving forward and switching. Then we'll go to the other side, repetitively do it, and then we're going to join it together. So it's been a little bit of time since we've done grasp the peacock's tail. So let's just start with feet about mid distance apart. And part of grasp the peacock's tail movement is to bring the arms forward. And then we draw the hands in towards us and we push away. And then just drop your arms down. So we sweep forward. There's a little flexion of the wrists. The hands come toward you and press away. And then just relax the arms down. Thinking about mindful movement, starting to warm up the shoulders, the elbows and the wrists, aligning the spine, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, hips over knees, knees over ankles. Beautiful, let's do one more, sweep up, draw toward you, Press away and relax down. Step over to the right side, tap the left toe, come into right ball. So for our grass, the peacock's tail, we preload by rotating a little bit to the right. We'll step out with the left heel, and just bring the arms across the body. This is our first movement. Then we lower the arms down the toes of the left foot rise. We intersect the wrists into push hands. Then we do that draw back movement we did in our first warm up. Press away. And then just shift back into right ball by stepping back into the right foot. Lots of movements, so we'll repeat them several times on this right side. Preload to the right. Step out, strike the left heel, sweep the hands across the body, lower down the tail of the peacock, intersect the wrists into push hands, draw both hands back toward you, press away, then shift back into right ball, tapping the left foot. Let's do it three more times on this side. Rotate. Step out, trace across, sweep down, shifting your body weight, intersect the wrists, push hands, draw back, slight flexion of the wrists, double block forward, press away, step back to the right side into right ball, two more times, preload, step out, sweep across and down, intersect wrists, draw back, double block press, step back into right ball, nice preload, sweep across, draw down, flex that foot, pull the toes up, intersect the wrists, Draw back, double block push, step back into right ball, and tap. We'll roll the ball to step into left ball. So you'll just step out, roll the ball. Now we're on the left side. We'll do five repetitions of grass the peacock's tail from this direction. 
Start with your preload. Step out, striking the right heel. Sweep the arms across the body. Draw down the tail. Intersect the wrists, push hands. Pull back, slight flexion of the wrists. Double block forward. Step back into left ball. When we're in left ball, the left hand is always on top and the weight is on your left foot. Preload, step out, draw down, intersect wrists, draw back, double block push, step into left ball, tap. Three more. Rotate. Step out. Draw down the tail. Intersect wrists. Pull back. Double block. Step into left ball. Good. Two more. Get a nice rhythm and a nice flow going as we shift body weight side to side. Shifting your gravity, center of gravity, and your balance. Into left ball. One more time. Rotate. Take your time to step out. Get your balance. Shift. Draw down. Push hands. Pull back. Press forward, step into left ball. Now we'll roll the ball to come back to the right side. Now we'll do our grass the peacock's tail alternating sides. This is gonna move you forward a little bit, but you can take small steps as you advance forward. So we'll rotate, preload, step out with that left foot, strike the heel, sweep the arms across. Draw down, intersect the wrists, push hands, pull back, flexing, press out. Now from here, we'll pull the arms across the body and pivot on this left heel and step into left ball. I know, a little different when we switch sides. So we'll preload, step out, right foot, Push the arms across the body, starting your sequence on this side. Draw back, press forward. Now from here, we sweep both arms across the body and step into right ball. Good, rotate, step out, grasp the peacock's tail. Draw back, press forward. Now the hands shift across as we pivot on this foot. We step into left ball. I'll wait for you. There we go, preload, step out right, sweep across, draw down, push hands, pull back. Double block forward. Now here we sweep the hands across. We pivot on the right foot and step on it as we come into right ball. Let's do one more on each side. If you need to step back a little bit, feel free. I think I'll go ahead and do that. Preload. Step out, strike the left heel. Sweep the hands across. Grasp the peacock's tail. Push hands. Draw back, double block forward. Now here's the change. Sweep the arms across the body, pivoting on this left foot. Step onto it, left ball. Last time, rotate to preload. Step out with that right heel. Bring the arms across the body. Sweep down, pulling up the right toes. Intersect wrists. 
pull some energy back toward you. Press it away. Sweep the hands across, pivoting on your right heel. Step on your right foot into right ball. Then step out with the left foot, hands to the shoulders. As we close, brush away and release the hands down and step together. Beautiful. All right. Hopefully the body's feeling nice and warm, ready to start our weights. So go ahead and grab light to moderate weights as we begin with some legs and arm movement. So I'm going to progressively add on to each layer of these exercises. If there's something you need to leave out, I want you to feel free to modify this, either progress it or regress it any way you like. So we'll step out with the right foot, mini plie, close, mini plie, close. Now because of my knee, I can't do much movement in this knee. So you guys take it down as deeply as you like. I'm gonna keep it small. I have my toes turned out in first position. You can also do this from parallel. If you need to slow it down or speed it up, feel free. Now the arms come up and hold. Good. Now as we first start arm work, I want you to keep it small. Two more. Leg work changes. We plie, lift the leg, and close it in. Plie, lift the leg, and close it in. So we have to really focus on our balance. Nice job. Plie, hold, close in. So that hold is going to make a difference when we add our arm work. Plie, lift, hold, close it in. Down, up, close. So as I add the arm work, if you want to leave the legs out for a second, you can. We curl, open, and come around. Curl, open, and come around. And I'm doing this really small to start, but we can make it bigger. It's almost like I'm rolling the shoulders back. So I'm doing a bicep curl and a shoulder raise and coming around. Now if you wanna make it bigger, it's gonna look like this. with straight arms, or keep the elbows bent, make this small. Let's do three more on this side. Good. Quads, glutes, outer thighs, one more. And relax. Let's start on the other side and work that progression. So the left leg, a mini plie, and close. Plie, and close. You can take it deeper. You know I'm just modifying here with a small one. Eight more. And almost feel like you're pushing away with this left leg, push. Bend and push. Good. Two more. Now just bring the weights at your chest to keep this going. Two more. Let's add our change. So we plie, lift, hold, and close. Plie, lift, and close. I'm gonna see how my knee does on this, but so far so good. Plie, lift and close. My balance might be a little bit off. Plie, lift, balance and close. Let's do four more without the arms. 
and three. Last two. And one. Okay, adding our arms in, we come out and around. Down, lift, come around. Bent elbows is easiest. We're working our biceps and shoulders a little bit more moderately, or we can try a bigger arm movement. Nice job. Let's get six more. Balance and control, five. Four. Now, if you're struggling with balance, you can keep this toe on the floor. I should have said that early. You can just keep it on the ground. One more. And relax. Now, I want to do this movement alternating. We'll do it without arms to start. So one on the right side, one on the left side. Start just with the plie and close. Plie, close. And you can step out bigger than I am and drop lower into the plie. Good. Two more plies each side. One more each side. Now add that full leg action and close. Other side, plie, lift and close. Now as you close the leg, pull down with your inner thigh. Plie, lift and pull down. Plie, lift, pull down. Good. If you're ready to add the arms, we curl, plie, lift, and pull down. Plie, lift, and pull down. Up and around. I'm feeling the heart rate coming up a little bit. And I haven't been able to get a lot of cardio recently because running is out of the picture for me. Biking is out of the picture for me. I've got to get out in the pool more often. Four more. Up and around. And three. Up. You can make this bigger with those arms. Two. One more time. And close it in. Okay, standing parallel. You'll take your right foot, step forward and reach your weights down, push back toward you. Right foot steps, push back. Step, push back. So I'm kind of bending on a little bit of an angle, like I'm reaching down to pull something up, down and up, two more, and bring it in, one more. Now next movement, we step, pull back, down, and in. Step, pull back, down, and in. Nice job, now you can always stay with this one, if the next one bothers your shoulders, next one. We pull, straighten the arms, come around, step back. Reach out, pull, straighten the arms, sweep around, and step back. Pull, straighten, circle, and step back. Six more. Step, pull. Straighten, circle, and back. Five more. Circle, and step back. Nice, four more. 
You can leave that circle out, that's fine. A little bit more challenging for the shoulder. Three. Two more. This is working our balance as well as we shift in and out of that front leg. One more. And bring it in. Good, we'll switch the leg we're stepping forward with. Let your arms rest and all we're going to do is step forward and push back and tap your toe. Step and come in. You're getting some leg strengthening on this front leg, depending on how much you bend your knee, working your quad, pushing back away. Now let's just add the row, reach, pull, step back, reach, pull, step back. Nice job. Just breathe wherever it feels right for you to inhale and exhale. Four more with this pattern. Or if your, if your shoulders are bothering you, you're going to stay with this. Two more. One more. Okay, adding the full exercise, we step, pull, straighten the arms, circle around, and push yourself back. Step, row, straighten, circle, and step back. Work in the upper back, the triceps, and the shoulders. Step back. Good, five more. Nice, four more. Now if you want to work the shoulders but not with straight arms, then just pull here and circle around and bring it in. Three more. Two. One more. And step in. Okay, we got to alternate sides. So we're just going to start with the feet. Right foot steps forward. Step back, switch legs. Left foot. Step back. Now for me, this is a lot more balance challenge, shifting weight side to side but it's more functional, right? Because when we stride, we don't always step forward with the same foot while we're walking, we switch. One more on the left. Now just add the row. So step out, reach, row, step back in, switch your legs. Step, row, step back in, step, row, and back in. Two more on each side. One more each side. Nicely done. Let's add the entire arm exercise. So we step out. Row, extend the arm, circle around, and step back in, switch legs. Reach, row, straighten, circle, and step back in. Modification, don't straighten your arm, just circle from here and come back in. Two more on each side. Your choice, left side.
One more each side. Last time switch. And step center. Great, set those weights down for a moment. Let's take a nice stretch, right foot forward, left foot back, push your heel down to the ground, bring your arms into goal post. Just pull your shoulder blades back. Bring your arms forward, palms up or thumbs up, sorry, thumbs, and open straight back. Bring your arms forward, turn your thumbs down, push straight back. Left arm up, right arm down, side bend. Come back up and release. Switch your legs, left foot in front. Push your right heel straight down to the ground behind you. The stretch for your calves, goal post arms, pull elbows back. If any of these stretches hurt your shoulder, then figure out a way to make it pain free. So don't push it. Bring your arms to the front, thumbs up. Open, pull back. Your arms can be lower if this feels better. Arms back to the front. Turn your thumbs down, push back. You might feel this in your biceps a little bit as well as the front of the shoulders and the chest. Right arm up, left arm down, side bend. And come back up. Great job. Now make sure your weights are available next to your mat as we're coming down onto the floor. We're going to start on our hands and knees. Weights are within reach. Just coming down onto all fours. Knees over the, or hips over the knees, shoulders over the wrists. We'll take the right leg straight back, balance your core. The left arm reaches forward, comes in, and then kicks back. Bring it in, reach forward, pull it in, and kick back. Now your option is to do this without a weight in your hand. If you'd like to try to add some resistance, you're going to pick up the weight, reach it forward, bring it in, and kick it back. Reach, bring it in, and kick it back. Four more reps. Core is really strong. Three to go. Two. This is your last one. Extend, place your weight down. Come back to all fours. Maybe move around a little bit or shake out the wrists. I'm gonna turn around to face the other direction so you can see that arm. All right, now your left leg goes straight back. Level off your hips, so make sure your left hip isn't hiking up. Take your right arm forward, pull it back in, and extend the arm behind you. Reach it forward. Pull it in, the elbow rises back, and we straighten our arm. Either continuing with no weight, that's great, or grab your hand weight, and we'll extend the arm forward, 
pull it back, tricep kick back, reach. Now it's a challenge on the shoulder to reach it forward. So if you want to do a little small one right here, this is good. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Nicely done, set that weight down. And we can take a little child's pose or any other stretch that feels great for you here. So we just worked our right arm. So I wanna work our left arm next. So let's lay down on, let's see. I'm gonna to have to mirror you. If you lay down on your right side, this is your left arm, correct? So we'll do your left side. So come on down, you can be up on your elbow here, or you can come all the way down and just support your head here. I want you to be comfortable, but in a good alignment. Just stack your knees. You've got your hand weight right in front of you with your elbow at 90 degrees. Shoulder is back, rotator cuff, Bring it up and down. So my upper arm is staying right in the same spot and all I'm doing is rotating that arm bone. So I'm gonna give you a few options with this and if any of them hurt your shoulder, just stay with this basic one or if you need to set your weight down and do it just with your hand. This is excellent therapeutic movement. One more time. And relax. Now we're gonna add this top leg, extend it out. Keep the foot either pointed or flexed and we'll lift and lower, lift and lower. Just giving your shoulder a chance to rest unless you wanna throw more rotator cuff in, but we're gonna do a lot more with this arm. Two more. Now your goal is to hold your leg up. Stationary isometric work. Back to the rotator cuff. Now we're gonna add something with this, but if you need to stay here, that's great. Come halfway up on your rotator cuff, push the weight toward me, bring it back in and release it down. Bring the arm halfway up, push it toward me, bring it in and lower it down. Four more. If you need to rest that leg, rest it. Three more. Good, two more times. With or without weights. One more time. Up, push, and lower down. Give your leg a break. Stack your knees, stack your feet, and then open the knees and lower down. You can put your weight on the outside of your leg and we'll do a clamshell. Now you could stay just with clamshelling the top leg, but we can actually clamshell both legs at the same time. What it's gonna look like is this, up and down. Now that's gonna require both outer thighs to push away. So pretty advanced. If you wanna try one, great. If it's not working, just stay with this top leg. Two more. One more. All right, bring that weight back into position. Now your option is to lift this leg up and straighten the leg out on a diagonal line. And we'll lift it up, up 
and down. So we're abducting. The top leg is on the same angle as the bottom leg. Good, four more. These can be pretty intense. Three, two. Now maybe you can hold the leg there. Maybe you need to rest it down. Back to your weight for our last exercise. We'll rotate, press up to the ceiling, come back to the rib cage and rotate the arm down. You can do it without a weight. Rotate, reach up, come back in and lower down. You can do it with the leg in place. So any of these options are up for grabs. Four more, rotate, press, bring it in and lower down. Three more, rotate, press and lower down. Two more, it's getting intense. One more time. Nicely done, relax. All right, one thing that starts to bother is this shoulder if you're up on that elbow. So actually I wanna stretch that arm a little bit as we come up. Bring the arm you were leaning on across your body and give it a stretch. You can look your head from side to side. Nice job. And then let's open out. Bring the other arm across. Maybe look from side to side. Now when we roll down on the other side, work your right arm. You could have a stronger arm or maybe a weaker arm. So you can take other modifications here as we go to the other side. Let's head on down over onto your left side. Have your weight available. Maybe you're up on your elbow, unless this bothers your shoulder. Knees are stacked about 90 degrees. Pull your core in, so make sure you're not slumping and slouching, so lift up nice and tall. Basic rotator cuff movement. Rotate up and back down. Up and down. You can also tuck a little towel between your elbow in your rib cage so you can kind of push it down into that and create a little bit more work and resistance. Five more basic rotation. Good and four. Make sure your workload is appropriate so nothing too heavy. This can be a challenging work. Two more. And one, relax it for a moment, adding your leg work, extend it out to the side, lift and lower, lift and lower. So you want the outside of your leg facing the ceiling. Sometimes we have a tendency to roll back a little and lift our leg up this way, but then we're not getting the right muscle group. So keep your hips stacked and lift it to the side. Good. Five more, four, three, two. Maybe a goal is to hold it up there as we come back into our rotator cuff movement, or you can set it back down. Good, now you can stay with the basic rotator cuff movement, or I have that next option for you. We'll rotate halfway up, push out toward me, bring it back in and lower down. Halfway up, push, bring it in, lower down. We have four more, there's six of these. You can do it without weight, three more. Very therapeutic without any workload. Two more.
One more time. And back down, good. Go ahead and restack your knees and your feet. Clamshell, you can use the weight on your outer thigh. Open and close. Then we can clamshell both legs. Super intense, we lift the hip up, come down. So we have to press out with both outer thighs. Super challenging. Let's get four more. Three. Two. One more. All right, we've got the weight back in front of us. We're going to lift the leg, extend it forward. It's on about a 45 degree angle. Raise it up and down. Nice job. These are really challenging. So if you need to pull your leg back a little more, find something that you can do you're successful with. Okay, last one, then you can either rest that leg or hold it up. Last rotator cuff exercise. Come up, press it up to the ceiling. Bring it back into the waist and lower back down. You can add the leg. Four more. Good job, everybody. Take any option. Three. Two, one more here. Nice job, relax the weight, bring the knee back in, push yourself off the supporting shoulder and bring that arm across. You can look right to left. So we're stretching the arm we were supporting ourselves on. Then open out. Stretch the other arm across. And maybe with some gentle neck movement. All right, open back out one more time. And lower down. You've got two weights here next to your mat. Let's head on down onto our backs with both of our weights. Get nice and comfortable. We'll be here for a little bit. So our weights are straight up from our shoulders, not over our face. So pull them back more over your chest. We'll do a chest press coming down with the elbows close to the midline, back up, down, and up. We're going to be combining a couple exercises here. So this is exercise number one. If you wanna stay with this, that's great. One more time. Exercise two is a tricep extension. So the elbows bend and the weights come next to your ears and press back up. So on the first exercise, the shoulder moves. On the second exercise, the shoulder is very still and stable. Let's do four more on the tricep extension. And you can do anything with your lower body that you want. If you can add knees to table, you can add some leg extensions. I'm just gonna leave that part all up to you what you wanna do with the lower body. Let's combine these exercises. So we do a press and come up, then a tricep extension and a press. 
and a tricep extension. And a press. Now I want you to put your thinking cap on because this class is called Mind Body Blend. And we are going to really work the brain here. We have two exercises, but our arms are going to do opposite things. So hold it at the top. As your right arm does the chest press, your left arm will do the tricep extension. So it's gonna look like this. Then you'll come back up. Let's do it on the same side so you get your brain used to this. Right elbow down, left elbow does the extension. Inhale, exhale. Have you got it? Let's do four more. And three. Last two, and one. Short break, bring both elbows down, let them touch the floor and just place the weights right on your abdomen to completely relax your arms. So now we're gonna reverse that. So your left arm will do the chest press while your right arm does the tricep extension. So let's get ourselves ready. It all starts right here from the top with both arms. So left elbow comes down to the floor as your right elbow stays up and then come back together. Go slow to start. Really work on your brain and your body movement. And then you can start to pick up the pace a little bit once you have it. So think about it as your right elbow has to stay up toward the ceiling. That's gonna help you do this exercise. Your left elbow is coming down and up toward the floor. Three more on this side. Two more. Last one. Short break, come on down. So just like we've been doing with other exercises today, we've done it on one side several times, then the other, and then we're going to alternate. That's the word of the day, alternating. All right, we're up in position. So right elbow comes down to the floor first. Left arm does the tricep extension. Then you'll switch. Left elbow comes down to the floor. Right elbow does the tricep extension. And just keep alternating. I don't want to say too many cues because we're all kind of going at our own pace and working on this. It might be confusing. So just work on it on your own. About a minute's time. Knees can be in table. You can do anything with the lower body, but that's going to start getting really <laughs> hard to think about what you're doing if you add extra stuff in here. I always find that this is easier to do on one side and then I get to the other one and I really have to concentrate harder. Let's do two more on each side. One more each side. Excellent. Relax the weights down right by your side. Let's come into bicycles for the abs. Fingertips are behind the head. And bring your body to one side in a little sit up. And then go to the other side. So you can just start with this and stay with it if you want, or we can add opposite knee comes off the floor. We're going elbow to knee and switch. Mm 
Next option, instead of having one foot on the floor at all times, your legs are suspended up off the floor. You're going side to side. Last option, as you come across to the knee, the other leg reaches out. Four more on each side. Three. Two. One more each side. Relax the head down. Relax the feet. Let's take the right leg straight up. Give yourself a hamstring stretch. If you need to grab your yoga strap, you can use that. Left knee can stay bent with the foot on the mat, or you can drag that leg out on the mat. And let's flex and point our ankle a little bit. Ankle mobility plus that increases the stretch into the calf muscle. As we flex, it also acts as the muscle pump to start to press the blood and synovial, not synovial fluid, your lymphatic fluid down your leg back toward the heart. Four more. Three. Two, one. Now just hold the ankle flexed, stretch it in as much as you can. If you need to put a little bend in this knee, it's okay. If you have a tight hamstring. All right, let's set that foot down on the floor. Your left leg comes up. Check to see how your flexibility feels here today. Right leg can lengthen long, and we flex, point, flex, point. We're squeezing the blood out of the veins, helping so that we don't develop varicose veins, spider veins, and pooling of blood in the lower extremities. Four more ankle pumps, four, three, two, one. Now hold the flexion, stretch as deeply as you comfortably can. And then set that left foot back down to the mat. Bring the right leg up with the ankle flexed, cross the right ankle over the left knee. Now, if this is enough of a stretch, just stay here or bring the knees toward your body, any amount. Hold that figure four stretch. You can also lengthen the left leg up if you want to get another hamstring stretch here on that side. <clears throat> Two more deep breaths. And then bend that left knee, set your foot down. Uncross the ankle, set your right foot down. Extend your left leg straight up, flex your foot, bring the ankle across the right thigh. Check it out, maybe stay here or bring those knees towards you. Ah, big difference in my hips here. We can also straighten this right leg up to get another hamstring stretch on that side or maybe a few more ankle pumps. Relax and breathe. All 
All right, set that right foot back down. Uncross the left foot. Roll over onto your front side for either a child's pose or a downward dog. I'm gonna come all the way around. Your child's pose option is here. Your down dog option, tuck your toes, lift your hips, push your heels down.